use of the word disruption. Your Honor, my principal objection is the, the introduction of page one of this report without providing pages two and three. The purpose of the report is the handwritten notation to reflect when this is occurring and the impact that it's having when it's occurring. But the impact cannot be assessed. If, if, it, if we're talking about impact on tickets actually issued, that impact cannot be assessed without looking at pages two and three, which are the pages that would record the number of tickets that were being issued during the period of alleged disruption. This has been a, a misconception from the beginning in this case by Attorney Meyer and his clients. This case is not about the number of tickets being issued. This is about providing a safe work environment for the city's employees. And this goes directly to that point. Okay, I, I, think, I think I understand where, where the plaintiff's arguing and what the, what the defense is arguing. If I understand the plaintiff's position, you're not offering this in any way to, for, for the information that's contained about the gaps of time between tickets or, 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 or to suggest that there's been some, some sort of an economic loss to, to the city because of the lack of ticketing activity. You're offering this to, to demonstrate what was, or for the purpose to, to say that one of the respondents was present and one of the pro respondents was engaged in certain activity on the dates in question. And, and so to the extent the objection relates to uh, w wanting to understand or, or present evidence as to what took place after that, that time in terms of, of there not being gaps of time in, in, in between tickets, because it's not being offered for that purpose, I don't understand the objection, Attorney Meyer. Well, Your Honor, the <clears throat> I, I, I would agree that, that if they're not offering it for that purpose, then we don't necessarily need page two and three. But if the witness is going to testify that, in fact, this activity caused her to issue less tickets or interfere with her ability to do that part of her job, then I do want to see pages two and three, because though that would be her report on what actually happened that day. Are you going to be suggesting that, that, that she was unable to do her job in part because of uh, on the specific days in question? I am, Your Honor, with the but that during the periods of time that are reflected by the notation. So this notation on the first page says 1115, and there is an arrow. But what I'm asking about is what happens at that period of time. I know, but that page one only goes to 1057 is the problem. The time frame after 1115 is covered on pages two and three, which I don't have. Well, why, why don't I say this? Uh, I think the objection is is well founded. You can't you can't present part of the picture of what was happening that day and not allow uh, the respondents to be able to see a complete picture of what was happening that day. Are you prepared? Do you have the entire document with with the with the uh, with the time period for the remainder periods of the day? Your Honor, oddly enough, this document came to my attention in response to a discovery request from Attorney Meyer. And his request was, please identify each interaction, essentially, that the parking enforcement officers have with the respondents. These notations <coughs> indicate those interactions. That's the purpose of this document. And so we don't have the full day. I'll agree on that point. But we're not concerned with the full day. What we're concerned about is what happens when these guys show up on the scene and start interacting with the parking but, enforcement officers. But the officers. problem is that the part of the document that's missing is the part of the document that covers the hours of this alleged interaction. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't complain if, if we were missing the part that was before or after. But in this particular case, the witness has testified that Mr. Ian was, was um, engaged in Robin Hooding after 11.15, presumably from 11.15 until the end of her work day, which I think she said was 3 o'clock. And those are the hours that are contained on pages two and three. So that the hours contained in page one are essentially useless. Whereas well, the page well, I'm. Um, yes, yes. 